This is uh, group termination and group closure for discussion board four. And our first question was kind of coming up with a way to be creative to kind of close out a group session. So um, the kind of groups that I foresee myself uh, kind of working with is psychoeducational groups that um, probably focus on maybe uh, anxiety of attending career fairs or anxiety of um, uh, interviews and the interview process. And one of the ways that I think that... Uh, you know, uh, being creative uh, is utilizing metaphors, which I know is a very commonly used tool in counseling and uh, group counseling itself. But what I would like to do is um, have individuals kind of create their own metaphor in the beginning of the process in a poem uh, format. Uh, and they could be as creative as they want with their poem if they want to write it down and uh, decorate and do all of that. Um, but then, uh, and, and utilize their feelings for that first one and uh, <clears throat> then uh, as we kind of finish out or close out the group, they come back and rewrite their metaphor and um, uh, on their outlook of uh, anything they kind of want. It could be on the change that they may have seen. It could be on um, the, the, the future that they have, the aspirations that have now opened up, or the, the abilities that have now opened up, the uh, skills that they've gained. So I think, uh, again, using metaphors, uh, which is a... Uh, pretty standard technique and then uh, kind of turning it into a creative outlet for individuals uh, would be good and uh, the idea of me saying individuals is uh, although I like the idea of um, group work and I think it's fantastic I also think when it comes to utilizing metaphors and um, allowing individuals to create metaphors it's got to be very individualized uh, and what that goes into is the second question where it's assessing members growth and change and I think what this would, uh, you know, utilizing metaphors, it would allow individuals to see where they started from and where they've come, uh, and then have a tangible thing to take with them. Uh, so I think, you know, it, it gives that idea, it gives that sense, it, it creates an understanding of where uh, each group members come throughout the process. And uh, I think it's just a, a fantastic way to incorporate metaphors and then be creative, and then it, it also provides the opportunity and really touches on, uh, again, another uh, kind of technique that is uh, uh, kind of vital to the group uh, process. So I think, you know, combining all of that into one would really be uh, beneficial to the group members, and I think that it, again, it it gives them, uh, you know, because I like the idea of uh, individuals having, you know, uh, verbalizing their growth, but I think that sometimes it's it's good for members to have, again, some something tangible, something that they can visually see. You know, here is the written... Uh, uh, metaphor that I created prior to coming to this group. Uh, this is where I was at. This is, you know, and you, you can get a lot from that, uh, from that poem. And then the end, where they have this this new kind of insight into themselves, and it's uh, it's it's very visual, and they can, you know, touch it and feel it and understand it. So um, I was trying to think of some things that I might deal with uh, when it comes to closure. Uh, so naturally, with uh, individuals who might be stutter, uh, struggling with anxiety or the stress of going into an interview. Um, you know, even at the end of a psychoeducational activity or a group or group session or, you know, if we did a few groups, uh, it's still the idea of I've still never gone out and done this. So I think a really good way, uh, which is a capping um, kind of um, uh, technique or activity to close out a, um, a group uh, kind of setting or group uh, environment would be rehearsal. Uh, naturally, I would do this in dyads and triads, but I think what a rehearsal would do was uh, would uh, allow individuals to kind of start to utilize those skills and those tools that we've used throughout the group process, and you know feel comfortable. They, I mean, they're with uh, they're in a group setting, they're in a, a, an encouraging environment, and I think that those rehearsals would really allow them to uh, you know get good feedback and things that they can kind of work on and growth points and. Uh, things that again they could take as tangible advice, and and, and um, you know if if you're in the working stage and individuals are using utilizing that that rehearsal aspect, it's a very um, positive atmosphere. So again, I think rehearsals would be a good way to kind of close out and and solidify some growth for the uh, the individuals within the group setting. So that is my discussion board four.